Hi friends. Today's book is Don't Push the Button. But there's going to be some pages in this book where you might want to push a button, but you can't push the screen on mommy and daddy's phone or computer or even on the TV because that might stop the video from working. So I'm going to ask mom or dad to stop the video right now so you can go get a little piece of paper and a crayon and make your own button on your piece of paper. All you have to do is make a circle with your crayon. And then anytime it says don't push the button or to push the button in the book, you can push your own button. All right, friends, stop the video. You go make your own button. Okay. Here's Don't Push the Button by Bill Cotter. Hi, my name is Larry. Welcome to my book. There's only one rule. Don't push the button. Seriously, don't even think of pushing that button. It does look pretty nice though. I wonder what would happen if we pushed it. No, we can't. We mustn't. Psst. No one is looking. You should give the button one little push. Remember, push your button. Let's see what happens. What do you think? Ah! Now I'm yellow. Push it again. Eek! Now I'm yellow and polka dot. Push it twice. One, two. Ack! Now there's two of me. Push it a bunch of times. Push, push, push that button. Uh-oh. What happened? Now there are lots of Larrys, all different color Larrys everywhere. What do you think is gonna happen? Shake the book to get rid of all the extra Larrys. Shake your button. See what happens. Almost a little more. Shake your button a little more. See if we could get rid of those extra Larrys. Okay, there we go. It says here to scratch Larry's tummy to get him back to normal. Since you can't scratch Larry's tummy, you can scratch your button. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Hee <laughs> that tickles. Okay, much better. Let's not push the button again. But that was kind of fun. Maybe just a couple more pushes. The end says, uh oh, you pushed the button. Look, there's more Larry's again. That's silly. Isn't it funny how sometimes when people tell you not to do something, it makes you really want to do it. Sometimes I give some of my friends a ride home after school and we like to play a game in our minivan. And every time everybody's buckled in and we're ready to go, my friends always say, Miss Tina, can we play that game? And the game is whatever you do, don't do this in the minivan. I always tell my friends we have two real rules in the minivan. One is everybody's got to keep their seatbelt on because that's how you stay safe. And the other is no screaming because that disturbs the driver when he or she is trying to drive. But then we'll make up some silly rules in the minivan. Like I might say, whatever you do, do not sound like a duck. And then all my friends will go, quack, 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 quack. And I'll say, hey, you're breaking the rules in the minivan. And they laugh. 
sometimes they like to take turns making up a rule and they'll say, um, whatever you do, do not tickle the person sitting next to you. And then we all tickle, tickle, tickle. And they say, hey, you're breaking the rules in the minivan. Sometimes it's fun to break the rules just a little bit. But it's really important to, to listen to your grown-ups because they're the ones that keep you safe. So even though we can be silly and play sometimes, remember to always follow the real rules. I hope you enjoyed. Don't push the button. I'll see you soon. Love to you from Miss Tina. Bye.